Hello there, I'm Tim Kern, half of the Finance Couple, and welcome to Two Minute Tuesdays with Tim, where we look to infuse financial planning with just a little bit of common sense. First, I've got to apologize. I worked out first thing this morning. I have not had a chance to take a shower yet, so uh, trust me when I say I, I definitely look better than I smell right now, <laughs> but uh, it's just been a busy day. I haven't been able to get to shower, and uh, I guess that's the beauty of being able to work out of your house right now. Uh, today, we're going to continue to talk about frame of reference with all the emotion in the market. You know, stock and bond markets are falling apart. There's a lot of emotion. I get it. I want to tell you a story. There was a woman came up to me and she said, hey, did you see what happened to the market today? And my response was, and I wasn't trying to be flippant. I said, you know, actually, no, I, I didn't and I'm not particularly interested. And she kind of looked at me in disbelief. And then I said, and, and you know, if it went down, boy, I, I hope it goes down even further. And she looked at me even stranger. And I, the last thing I said is I, I go, look, you, you gotta remember a couple of things. We've, we've been here before when the markets go down, this has happened before. I've been doing this for 26 years. We've had a lot of great ups and downs and when you're doing well things are going to turn around when you're not doing well things are going to turn around um, what was important excuse me what was important is her frame of reference was being based on what happened today or last week and i said look if you own stock it's our belief that you should have a minimum of 10 years holding period and thus one day one week doesn't mean anything again i'm not being flippant it just doesn't matter after one week you've got a minimum of nine years and 51 weeks to go and so when you look at what's happening in the market today or over the last week even the last year you've got to put it in the right frame of reference okay right now people are panicking because they're saying oh my gosh the market's doing so poorly and, and yes the s p 500 is down about 18 percent since the start of the year and this goes to this past weekend so a one-year return going through this past weekend the s p 500 is down roughly eight percent and people are saying wow those are both really bad numbers frame of reference is important here if you go back five years through just this weekend the S&P 500 is still up 60%. That's fantastic for five years time. So frame of reference is really, really important. One other note, oh, by the way, that story that I told you about, that actually happened and it happened in the beginning of 2008. I wrote a newsletter in March of 2008 talking about that same story. In March of 2008, we were right at the beginning of the Great Recession, which was a terrible financial calamity. And yet nobody even seems to remember that this Great Recession happened just 10, 12 years ago. So please keep your frame of reference, especially when you're going through these turbulent, emotional times. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Please like us on Facebook. Share this video with friends and family alike. This can help anyone. And always, again, especially in these emotional times, always, please, mind your state of mind. Take care.